Hey guys, this is Saverio and welcome to another market update. So in our last video, we talked about this potential bear flag and how the bulls would have to pray that it wouldn't break down. Let's look at what has happened since then. So initially, the bulls tried to stay above it, but the bears eventually managed to push the price slightly below the support line. Then the bulls had a last stand and pushed the price back up, which turned into a bearish retest. The price dropped a lot lower before having a strong rebound, and the bulls did at least manage to reverse the situation before the previous low was taken out, so at the very least a new low has not been put in as of right now. However, we are approaching a new trouble zone with intersecting resistance from the previous bear flag and the descending resistance line of earlier tops. As mentioned in our last market recap, the more of these lower highs we put in, the more potential resistance there is to break through. We now have a multitude of resistance areas ranging from 65 to 73.8k and this trend of accelerating price decline has not been broken yet. As usual, let's look at our power law indicators to find more clarity. Starting with the log lock graph, uh, Bitcoin is still hovering around the blue power law trend deviation support line and trying its best not to break down. The Bitcoin power lock clock shows us the time of 8.06, which means that we have less than one hour left before 9 o'clock at the end of the year. And the detrended oscillator relative to trend is at uh, minus 22.7 deviation from the trend. Therefore, the color is somewhere between yellow and green. For reference, the most extreme market lows go to roughly minus 60% deviation from the trend. The COVID crash got us down to minus 56% and was colored dark green. However, nothing guarantees that we have to drop that much because the mini bubble before the COVID crash was a lot more overbought than the one we're correcting from right now. Therefore, just in case, it is also good to stay open-minded to the possibility of stopping at a lighter shade of green if we do continue dropping over here. By the way, we recently updated the detrended oscillator. It has three different modes, relative to trend, relative to price, and relative to mean. All of these modes are useful for different things, such as finding bottoms, tops, or having a general overview of the trend. I will talk more about this in a different video. Finally, let's look at the local Hearst exponent. It is colored yellow and is in a deep nosedive. It is also slightly more than halfway through its drop to the bottom, assuming the bottom will be dark green. We are really starting to cool down over here. So, the latest viral Bitcoin meme is a bullish Q4. Interestingly, this is one of the few times where we kind of agree with it with some caveats. Now, where most people get this wrong is that they are expecting a god candle at the beginning of Q4, which is pretty unlikely in my opinion. Instead, we know that Bitcoin has generally started preparing for the mania phase at 9 o'clock or so, which would be at the very end of Q4. Therefore, there is still plenty of opportunity to get wrecked by buying on the 1st of October or something. In reality, there is quite a bit of variation here and you should use 9 o'clock as a general reference for the trend change and not a specific date. This assertion of a bullish Q4 goes beyond memes though. There are articles talking about people such as Peter Brandt, whose data agrees with our own findings. According to Brandt, there is a 73% chance that Bitcoin will rally in the fourth quarter of 2024. Now, what is my strategy? I've been loving this correction and recently started increasing the size of my BTC purchases. However, I still want to see if we're going to trend a bit lower over here before committing all of my dry powder. The potential to move closer to the green power law trend deviation line is still there unless we start changing the market structure over here. If you would like to support our work and have access to our amazing indicator suit at the same time, head over to luxalgo.com slash BTC power law. Extra perks include a Luxalgo member rank in our telegram channel and free consultations with me or Giovanni. Your support really helps us continue to produce power law related content in the future and we believe every power law fan should utilize these indicators to make better real-time decisions when it comes to buying and selling Bitcoin.
By the way, our Italian team of programmers is also developing a new product in the form of live graphs for people who do not have or do not wish to use TradingView. The beta version already has both the log log and log linear graphs with the power lock clock and oscillator coming soon. Follow at BTC Power Law on X, not to be confused with Giovanni's X account to find out more and get ready for the full release. I can't wait to include these graphs in our power law market updates along with our Lux algo indicators. I will leave you with some amazing creations that emerged from our Telegram community. Make sure to follow our Telegram member Uzo on X. If you still haven't joined our free Telegram group, then you're really missing out. The link will be in a pinned comment below. See ya guys. A genius was born Giovanni Sentostasi, a mind so strong He saw in Bitcoin what others could not A power law to guide it, a vision that caught He whispered the future where the charts would go Foretelling the rise, the highs and the lows But there was a skeptic, a British man bold they called him British Hodel, in doubt he was sold Oh Giovanni, the prophet of our time You saw the big coins climb, where others were blind Millionaires were made from your brilliant mind Fields metal, Nobel Prize, for the truth